It's Saturday, February 15th, and this is my third day after my mastectomy, and it's been a rough three days. The pain for the first two days is, I won't even lie, pretty unbearable. I had it pretty rough. I guess it's different for everyone because a lot of people told me that it's not as bad as we think, but right after my surgery on a scale from 1 to 10, I think I had pain number like let's say number nine but then with the painkillers it would drop down but when it hurts it, it hurts and I could barely stand up let alone sit up by myself and lying down is uncomfortable sitting up is uncomfortable but finally it's day three and as you can see I'm sitting up it's still sore but at least it's not painful anyways what I wanted to show you guys today are my drains because there's one thing that I didn't quite understand when people would talk to me about the mastectomy are the drains and how it's annoying and what you have to do to empty them so for those who have to do surgery and get mastectomy and reconstruction these are the drains and what they are basically right now they're pinned onto my shirt because if not they're not pinned they're pretty much hanging off my body and it's uncomfortable so let me unpin them, but I highly suggest that you do pin them. Otherwise, they literally just hang out of your body and it's really uncomfortable. And what they are, they're basically tubes that are attached in your breast to your wounds. Can you see them? They're coming out of my breast and they're attached to my wounds and they're pretty much draining out the excess fluids and liquids that if they were to stay in my wound they would cause an infection and it's draining out the liquid in between my alloderm and my muscle tissue and we want to drain all that liquid out so that you know it heals together and it heals well so that there's no infection so what you do is whenever you get a chance and you notice that they're starting to fill up the nurse said once every eight hours is fine but the doctor um, Dr. Dianisopoulos says whenever you think of it just drain it and you need to keep a log of how much liquid you're taking out so this is drain number one you have this number one where you empty it out which has measurements so that you know how much you're taking out and you're gonna squeeze the the end of the tube to block the air, open the valve, and you're literally just gonna squeeze out the grenade. And it's normal that there's a little bit left, there's always gonna be some left. That's drain number one. And then before closing the valve, you're gonna squeeze out all the air and then close it. Then you do the same with number two. Squeeze the tip of the tube. Open the valve. Squeeze out all the liquid. Squeeze out all the air. Close the valve. And then, again, I would pin it back to your shirt. Otherwise, it just hangs out of your body. And this I got to deal with for about seven to ten days until all the excess liquid is drained out. It's pretty annoying. And then you gotta see how much is drained out. I would say this is 15 milliliters. This is half of a 15 mil. And then I gotta record it and then I gotta show that log to Dr. Dianisopoulos just so that he has an idea of how much liquid is coming out of my wound. And so that is all. I'll keep you guys posted on how I feel because I still feel kinda crappy.